Welcome to another edition of JavaScript for You. This morning we're going to continue looking at string methods and get an idea of how this object in JavaScript works. I can do things like matching, so I hand it a string that I want to match against the test string, and I can hand it something that I know will match, something here that won't, again something that won't, and then something that should, and we'll see what comes back from that. Likewise, I can look for the index of a particular substring within here. So I can look for the D, I can look for the world all uppercase, I can look for world all lowercase, and let's just try that out and see what comes back. So again, the first time we should find something, two nothings, and then something again. Let's see what comes back here. So we find world, came back with the actual match, again match here, and then two nulls. Null meaning it didn't find anything, so that's what I need to check for if I'm going to look against what came back. And then here are the indexes of the things that came back. And of course the negative one means I didn't find it. So that's the way you notice the things didn't come back with index of. It's negative one. Whereas for the string match it's null. A little bit different between the two. Something you have to be aware of. But that's the way these things operate. And it helps to look for a reference to look these things up. The W3Schools has a reference you could look for for these things. There are various other JavaScript references you can put up. I'll put a link to one in the show notes. So that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with JavaScript.